What's going on guys? Sean here coming to y'all with another video real quick. Uh, Eagles news has been a little slow. It's a little oversaturated right now. Not really trying to put out another video on that. I think y'all have gotten enough of that. So I figure we talk a little bit 76ers. Been watching a couple of these games. Been checking out some highlights and some clips from stuff that I haven't got a chance to see. Uh, and I think I'd just share them thoughts with you guys and see what y'all think. If you like the content, like, subscribe, comment down below. You want to hear more about the 76ers? Let me know. Uh, as long as it's Philly sports, you know, I'll cover it. I know I've had questions before about covering more NFL teams, uh, more stuff, a little bit more broad. Uh, I'm not, I'm not really prepared for that right now. Maybe in the future we could get into looking at the bigger picture in the NFL and stuff, but for now we're just going to keep it Philly, so... Like I said, please like, please subscribe. Appreciate you guys. Let's keep this stuff growing. Anyway, so basically, the way I look at the Sixers is they've been a pretty good team all year. But the problem is pretty good teams aren't going to win a chip this year. Uh, the West is stacked. Whoever you play in the finals is more than likely going to be a really good team. Uh, probably a top-tier team at that. Uh, and the East isn't really nothing to scoff at either. I mean, you're going to have the Bucks and the Celtics pretty much are going to be the main two teams that stand in your way. And uh, honestly, we haven't fared great against either of them this year. You know, I know we probably split the series with the Bucks, and I think it was 3-1 with the Celtics in their favor. But, you know, it's going to have to be a lot better than that. Uh, honestly, James Harden has kind of underwhelmed me this year. The assists have been nice, and he's had moments here and there. But, uh, you know, when he's not scoring, it's Ben Simmons. You know, what are you going to do with that? Except he doesn't even play, you know, great defense. I mean, uh, you know, good enough defense. But, you know, I, I need to see 20-plus points out of James Harden consistently, consistent, consistently. You know, 10, 12, 15 points out of Harden, it just isn't going to do it for me. Um, the fact that you got Embiid out here dropping 50, you know, more than the rest of his team pretty much, uh, you know, this is – that that was a little disgusting to me because – you know, yeah, I want Embiid to win the MVP because he deserves it. He deserved it the past two years, you know, so he definitely deserves it this year. But at the same time, you know, we need to win a championship. You know, Embiid is not going to be around forever. We got to win this man a chip. If I got to watch another Philly player go win a chip somewhere else, I, I'm going to lose my mind. It just, yeah, it's, I've gotten so over it at this point, you know, so we've got to, we've got to lock in. Another thing, Doc, Doc Rivers, you know, I, I never had faith in him before. I don't really have faith in him now. Um, you know, he's got a couple of good lineups that he's ran the past few weeks, and I feel like he went away from it immediately, um, you know, which just is a head scratcher. Um, you know, I, I need way more out of Tobias, way, way more out of Tobias, way more out of P.J. Tucker. You know, it's just... These guys that have huge contracts on this team are doing nothing, you know, outside of Embiid. They're doing nothing. And then you've got these guys, you know, who aren't making shit, you know, who are playing decent, you know, and begging for minutes in the rotation and they can't even get a chance. So, you know, I don't have a lot of hope for this year. Uh, I think the only way the Sixers win a chip this year is if we get hot and stay hot. Um, and I just don't think that's realistic to expect Joel to drop 40 and 10 every night, you know, a couple blocks, you know, you just, you, you expect it because it's what he's done all year, but in the playoffs, it's not the same thing. You know, you're not playing the Pacers, you're not playing the Magic, you know, you're not playing these bottom, you know, bottom level teams that me can just go bully. Um, you know, you're going to be playing teams that play good defense that have good head coaches. So, you know, it, it's going to take a hell of a run from us to make it there. Um, I expect to at least make it to the second round. I'd like to make it to the conference finals. I think that this team should at least make it to the conference finals, but I think we're handicapped by our coach and uh, by these giant contracts that, you know, we're paying out to players that just aren't performing. So, you know, I, it's going to be rough. Uh, it's going to be really rough. Tyrese Maxey has been a dog I love Tyrese Maxey. De'Anthony Melton's been a pleasant surprise this year. Definitely outplayed what I would have expected from Danny Green, which makes that trade completely worth it in my eyes. Um, you know, House has come on as the season's progressed. I remember at the beginning of the year, I was like, why did we even give him a dollar? You know, has the dude ever played basketball before? He looks like a rec league dude in the beginning of the year. And, you know, the last couple weeks as a cutter, you know, kind of on, uh, on the floor with uh, Harden and uh, mostly bench lineup, it's looked pretty good. Um... You know, also his name is slipping me, but the guy we just traded for here recently, I know he's been looking pretty good, but I don't understand why he hasn't been getting more minutes. Um, 
uh, Jalen McDaniels is his name. And then, uh, you know, Shake is either 20 minutes or zero minutes. So, you know, I feel like I haven't seen Shake in a year. But, you know, hopefully we can pull together the right guys. Hopefully the coaches get their heads out of their asses. You know, hopefully we can make a run. You know, the past two, three years, I mean, the Sixers haven't had everything they need. The bench has been bad. You know, we've had issues. But, you know, we can't have everything. No team has everything. You know, uh, you just got to get out there and you got to hit the right shots. It's that simple. So, you know, let's let's hope we get out there and we hit the right shots is basically what I'm getting at. But with that being said, guys, if you made it to this point in the video, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for everything you do. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing. Continue to do so. Share it around to your friends who might like this content. And guys, go Birds. Go Sixers. Let's go win some championships. Enough showing up and not making it. You know, let's win a few of them now. All right. Peace.